Garrett. What the hell are you doing here? Well, as opposed to the level A jackass I'm staring at, I still follow orders. You're the worst at following orders. Maybe. But I like this one. You were to immediately turn Ian Quinn over for transport to the fridge. Agent Antoine Triplett? Agent Philip Coulson. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Phil's one of our finest. An honor, sir. Trip joined me as my specialist after Ward came to your circus. Go secure the prisoner. Yes, sir. Phil, come on. Just because Fury gave you this pretty plane doesn't mean they won't shoot it out of the sky. Why are you really here, Garrett? S.H.I.E.L.D. could have sent any security team to collect Quinn. Why you? You've been chasing him, too. Since Malta. Then yesterday, your little Italian job cost my team weeks of work. You can't have him. Not yet. This isn't a request. Quinn shot one of my agents. She's on life support in a med pod downstairs. We are taking her to the trauma center in Bethesda. Quinn actually pulled the trigger? This guy infiltrated his compound in Malta. When he saw it yesterday, seems he took it personally. I never took him for a trigger man. He pays others for that. I've lost three of my own chasing him. Then you understand why I can't give him to you until we save my agent? Because if she doesn't make it... Agent Garrett and I have come to an agreement. He convinced HQ he could interrogate Quinn here on our plane as we continue to Bethesda. Well, I'm a bit of a sweet talker when I need to be. You wouldn't believe what I could talk this son of a gun into. Good seeing you, son. You too, sir. And thank you. Saving the girl's top priority. And she might know something. I have good news and bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Bad news, then. There's a fair amount. You're clairvoyant, the one who said he'd have your back. He's a no-show. The site we were supposed to lead him to with our minds? Blown to pieces, buried under 100 feet of rock. Seems the only psychic power your buddy has shown is the ability to predict if you tell a rich, entitled dirtbag he's gonna get away with murder, he'll believe it. Trip, girl's gonna live. Live to testify how a billionaire shot her point blank in the stomach. Oh, we got a great little home movie of you admitting that genius. This clairvoyant played you and left you to rot. You said there was good news. I did? Oh, yeah. You still have your tongue. Let's go. I want to thank you, Garrett, for letting us keep Quinn on the plane. Don't mention it. There's still time for me to make the rest of his life a long living hell. I'm counting on it. Something I need to ask you, Phil. Of course. We've known each other a long time. Yes, we have. Been in our shared tight spots together. If it had gone the other way, if Sky hadn't survived, were you really prepared to throw Quinn off this plane? You were the one who made that threat. I just asked to keep him on the plane for a while. You're right. It was me. My mistake. Till next time. Might be sooner than you think. Well, man, Tripp's got eyes for that biotech gal of yours. This isn't a surprise party, people. So you can toss stealth out the window. Our target's wearing body armor and has enhanced cybernetics. Make your shots count. Let's move. You're ringing the bell and knocking. Knocking? Of course. On this phone, you will find a set of coordinates that'll lead you to one of the three potential clairvoyants I've chosen. When you're within a mile, your partner will be granted access to the candidate's name and profile on their own phone. Make sense? You know, we haven't officially met. John Garrett. I guess lying unconscious in a gurney really should not count. <laughs> How are you feeling? A lot better, actually. I've been shot a couple times myself. Back, shoulder. Had my throat cut once. But you know the toughest one? Thing about a third degree burn? The burn itself doesn't hurt at all. Crazy, right? The nerve endings get all fried. But the area around the burn? That smarts. Still, gut shot's the worst. 
So I know what you did for me. How you risked your life to save me. So thank you. You've got a good team around you. I just jumped on the bandwagon. Well, you trained one of them, sir. Guess it all comes full circle. Ward's your SO, I was his. Turn, turn, turn. But this SO thing goes both ways. You've had a big impact on him. He's different than I remember him. Different how? Well, the tough thing about being a specialist is being alone. A team gives you a whole new perspective. I guess it's the difference between fighting against something and fighting for something. Or someone. Ward's got that now. Thanks for this. And Sky, lose the sir. I'm a shield agent, just like you. We were outnumbered and shield pressed the advantage. You managed to make it out with the chopper. Yes, sir. No worries then, the cube's small potatoes. Once we hit the fridge and grab all the fun toys tucked away inside, we'll be able to take any base we want. Hail Hydra! All right, all right, put your arms down, Kaminsky. Look like a West Texas cheerleader at a pep rally. Let me see that. Tom Brady? You hate the Patriots. The agent Grant Ward she knows doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that straight version of you is something else. I don't even think Romanoff could pull that one. Well, it wasn't without its complications. Oh, come on. You're not still upset about that. Shooting Sky was not part of the plan. Near zero contact. That was the deal going in. Though, your tip about the cellist came in handy. If you had a thing for the girl, you should have contacted me. I would have asked for your blessing. Don't play your games with me. This isn't a joke. You don't have to tell me. Your little candy crush was on Centipede's tail long before she was recruited by S.H.I.E.L.D. Seemed like a good person to eliminate. My bad. Listen, if the job was easy... Yeah, the job be... was to blend in. Gather and tell on Coulson's revival, that's it. You said yourself you didn't want any bloodshed. That was before I found out Coulson didn't know squat. You know, you would have had an easier time if I gave the kill order week one. Yeah. But you didn't. The girl I get. She's cute. But don't forget what the assignment was. Don't forget who gave it to you, and don't forget why. And <laughs> cheer up. We're close. Closer than ever. It should only take me a minute more to decipher. Can I ask the obvious question? What the hell? We don't know. We don't even know where our plane is headed. Oh, I saw your trajectory. You're being tracked or being straight to the hub. Those drones were launched out of there for sure. Victoria Hand. Hand? Can't be. Can't be what now? The clairvoyant. I thought Ward kept that guy. I don't believe the man Ward killed was the clairvoyant. I think he was an unwitting decoy meant to end our investigation. That's a lot of trouble to go through for a red herring, don't you think? Because the clairvoyant is a shield agent. Using high-level clearance to stay ahead of us, make it seem like she's got psychic abilities. She? You think Victoria Hand's the clairvoyant? <laughs> I don't mean to pee in the punch bowl, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. I was stationed with Vic in Lisbon. She's a hard-ass and a buzzkill at parties, I grant you, but do you really think she's capable of that? Excuse me, didn't she just try to blow you out of the sky? Don't get me wrong, she's definitely gone nuts, but her actions prove she's not the clairvoyant, right? I mean, if she's been hiding in plain sight all this time, why reveal herself now? Guys. Out of the shadows, into the light. Hydra was defeated after World War II. It was. Shield was founded in the wake of that victory. And now they're back. Hydra always comes back. Cut off a head, two more will take its place. Is it a head? I thought it was a limb. No, no, no. Cut off a limb. It's a head. But it was sent from a Shield source. It's got to be some sort of activation signal to Hydra members within Shield. Hand must be one of them. Okay, stop, stop. What does that mean? N Shield. Targeting level eight agents, seizing power. I wonder how deep it goes. The signal is everywhere. Deep. You know what this means? Yeah. We're screwed. We can't change course, and we have no idea what's waiting for us at the hub. The hub. I say we blow a hole in the side of this puppy and parachute out. Live to fight another day. We can't. 
It's a cherry ride, I'll give you that. But let's not just hand over the keys. Simmons is at the hub. We'll have to save her. Oh, crap, yeah. Trip's there, too. I don't mind saying I don't like the odds on this one. We should let your specialist out of their cage. We can use every weapon we can get. We've got to save her. So we'll fly in there, face the music. Even if it is the Hydra theme song. Without getting my picture taken. Single shot, half a mile away. You're missing the point. I didn't want to just cross him off. I wanted to make a spectacle. People are killed by guns every day in Bogota. But how often does a monster punch a drug lord's head clean off? Hell, that's international news. Spectacular thing you did back there, Mikey. If I didn't know better, I'd swear you're starting to enjoy your job. You get the impression he's enjoying his job? Somebody does. Well, I'd like to think we all enjoy our work. And why not? These are exciting times full of rewards. Which reminds me. Zeller. Yeah, it's me. Stream Mike Peterson some video of his son this afternoon. Don't mention it. How about that guy? I've turned him into a new man. Is that what he is? Are you still sore about what he did to you? No, I'm sore are you for making him do it. Look, we're on the verge of completing something I've been chasing for 25 years. Can't you just be happy for me? Okay. First off, I think we should use our indoor voices. Since the day we met, I have done everything you asked. Not sure we can say everything. You were gonna let Deathlock kill me to get that hard drive. Come on, we both know the girl wasn't gonna let you die. You said yourself, Sky's a soft touch. Just like you. I am not that scared kid anymore. Then stop acting like it. Stop being weak all these years and you're still playing the victim. Sometimes I ask myself why I ever bothered. John? John! Everybody out, now! All right, here we go. That's it. I said get the hell out. You heard the man. All right, hang in there. I'll get you stabilized. You know he's not human, right? Of course I know. He's better than human. Smart. Loyal. Trustworthy. Yeah. Where does all that trust and loyalty lead? Abandoned in the woods or dumped at the pound? I learned that lesson the hard way. I know you never asked, but I'm sure you're curious. Nickel version? I got fragged by an IED outside Sarajevo. When I radioed for medevac, I got nothing but an ear full of excuses. That's when I realized I was more loyal to S.H.I.E.L.D. than S.H.I.E.L.D. was to me. So I decided if I made it out, if I survived, I was gonna treat them the way they treated me. Then I stuffed my intestines back inside, duct taped myself shut, and hopped my way out. You remember when we first met? I told you I worked for a secret organization? It's more like I work for a secret organization inside another secret organization. You ever heard of Hydra? Mm. No. Hydra understands the importance of survival. <laughs>